The most important part of any second scrimmage of fall camp is that it happens, that you remain healthy and you test your depth chart a bit. That's exactly what happened for Ohio football on a warm Thursday morning in Athens. Scrimmage two didn't involve the regulars as much, but you saw the depth that was on display and the guys remained healthy. Move it on down the line, getting closer to the opener against Hampton on September the 2nd. Head coach Frank Solich was pleased with the progress. Pleased overall, generally overall with the offense, you know, uh, we're running the ball fairly well, we're throwing the ball fairly well. And so that's a good combination of things, something that if you want to uh, put points on the board, you got to be able to do both fairly well, and I think we have a chance at that. The scrimmage stage is important for any freshman. Take Julian Ross, running back from Kansas City, Missouri. He made plays, reached the end zone, and caught the coach's eyes. I think every day is like that for me, well, for everyone. But like practice, take practice on every day, but scrimmages do play a part in being able to see how you go against the defensive line and all that, so it does help out a lot. Like I said, the offensive line helped out a lot to make plays, but uh, it felt nice to be able to do something like that. Practice was punctuated on a positive note. The Bobcats reached the end zone, and the big stick of scrimmage was sophomore linebacker Marcus Brunson. He hails from Florida, made a big play, and certainly got his teammates excited. All in all, pretty good. Move it on down the line and get set for the third scrimmage, which is scheduled for next Wednesday, all in advance of the opener against Hampton on September the 2nd. That's our second fall scrimmage report for you. I'm Russ Eisenstein with Jason Chapino. This is Bobcat TV.